Hey, this is Dave White, Quad City Safety. Noise, noise, noise. We often hear, well, when, when and how do I even know that I need to wear hearing protection? Well, the, the theory, theory behind noise in Occupational Safety and Health Act is noise over time. So it's really easy to say, oh, it's not noisy here, but maybe you have times of the day that it is noisy. First thing you need to do is need to do spot checks. And spot checks can be done with little devices, little wearables. So this is just a sound level meter. So I'm able to uh, take this device and kind of walk around and go, how noisy is it? Because it's different for me versus you as to what we hear and how we think the noise is. Because where we hear, our hearing spectrum may be different. And basically uh, nerve nerve endings and how they all respond. So we take a little scientific device like this, walk around, we get an idea that, yeah, there's some areas that are pretty noisy. So we can kind of use devices like this in the similar format that this is just a wearable. And it will sit there and it will blink, I'm good, I'm good. And as soon as it hears something that breaks that threshold, it'll give you kind of a red blink. So those are different ways that you can look. But again, as you spot check and you find situations where you go, oh, there's some noise here that I need to pay, take a, a closer look at, then we can bring in an industrial hygienist and do a noise survey where we're actually going to wear a device that, again, pretty expensive device, so we're not just kind of spot checking. We're doing a study over the workday to say, maybe, maybe it's noisy in the morning and it's quiet in the afternoon. You can't just go, it's quiet because it was in the afternoon when I looked at it, you got to look at it over time. And dosimeters is what we bring in those with, again, a hygienist that helps us read those reports and understand how that, uh, whether we've tripped those thresholds and need a hearing conservation program. Again, when we're talking noise, we have to look at a range of time. So if we have an individual spike, just something comes down and makes noise, it trips that, one time, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have a noise problem. We're looking at a combination of that over a TWA or a time-weighted average. So we're looking at a worker's eight-hour day and looking at spikes and just what the regular noise line is, averaging that over that period of time, that eight-hour workday, and seeing what the dose of noise they're getting. So if you feel like you might have some situations that you need to take a look at, give us a call.